Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome for the first time. It's your girl D of Life with D. And today we are back with another video. So guys, I've had my hair in this protective style of knotless braids for like six or seven weeks now and it is time to take it out. I have enjoyed not having to do my hair every week. It's been a good run, it's been a long run, but it's time for it to go. And so today I'm gonna show you guys how I take out my hair from this style and then how I style it after these braids are out. So if you're interested, stick around. All right guys, the first thing that I'm gonna do is cut out some of the old hair. That way I am not unbraiding and untwisting more than I have to. For me, it's a little bit easier to see where my natural hair stops because my hair is dyed in most places. And so as you can see, I have the blonde kind of at the end. And so it tells me, all right, that's where my hair stops. Even still that I have the blonde in my hair and can clearly see when to stop, we're gonna take it a few more inches down. That way I just don't accidentally get any like longer strands that happen to be there. cut out a good amount of hair and so now we can actually start the process of unbraiding these and so I'm gonna go sit down because that is a process that you want to get a show for and that is exactly what I am going to do watch my show and take out my hair I'm going to show you guys what I do for one of them and then the rest of the clips are going to be sped up because I'm sure you guys do not want to sit here and watch who knows how much time of me taking out my hair so the first thing that I do though is I do try to separate my hair and pull it up and out. And for me, like two ponytails just works for me. So whatever kind of works for you. You look a little crazy, but I promise that sometimes you just have to look crazy in order for it to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a braid out and then literally just start at the bottom and start unbraiding it. You just kind of put your fingers in between the, uh, I guess like crosses, I don't know. Just put your fingers in between and it should be pretty easy to unravel. And you just work that all the way up to the top of your braid. Some people use combs and stuff, but that is not what I do. I just feel like getting in there with my fingers just works a lot better. And then, of course, keep a trash can or a trash bag near you because as you can see, um, it's going to be a lot of hair and having to pick that all up from the floor is a lot. And so if you at least have a trash bag or a trash can, then you're not picking as much up off the floor once you are done. All right, and then once you have untwisted it, I just go through a little bit more and make sure that I have gotten all of the excess hair out that was added in. Boom, and there you go. And so that is my process. Like I said, I'm going to speed up the rest of it and then I will come and show you guys one that's like closer at the top so you guys can see once again what I do when I am taking them out. told you guys I wanted to come back and show you guys kind of a closer view of when I was taking out my braids and so since I'm almost done this is all that's left and everything else has already been taken out um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that part now just so like I said you're able to see kind of an up close view so once I pull the braid out I go to the very bottom and as you can see like it already is kind of starting to come apart and so I just use that little opening and then as I continue to work my way up, I just put my fingers in between the like braid parts themselves and just work my way up. Um, 
um, because I do have not lists and I guess the way that this place did it that I went to, I've never gone to this place before, um, is that the hair is like put in in sections instead. And so while I've been taking out my hair, it's been coming out kind of in like smaller sections than it has before. But yeah, we just follow it all the way up. And I try to, you know, do it slowly so that way I don't have a ton of tangles and knots because that is such a pain. And then when you get to the top, it just kind of comes out. And so I like to go through and kind of break up the roots as well, just because it's like a lot of product buildup in there. And so I like to break it up a little bit before I go ahead and shower. So I'm going to finish taking it out and then I'll tell you guys about what products I'm going to use for the wash time of this wash day. All right, guys, we are back. My hair is out and it is so nice to be able to touch my hair again. Like it feels very, very soft and very moisturized throughout all of that. As you can see, there's some product build up around the front. Woo chow. But outside of that, you know, the hair is looking and feeling very healthy and very, you know, cute. So I'm about to wash my hair. For a wash day, I will be using this Wash Day Delight from Carol's Daughter. I started using this maybe like a month or two ago. Wait, no, I've, I've had braids for like two months. So probably like three or four months ago at this point. But I love this. This is going to get my scalp right, honey. And then I'll be using this Coconut Curls Conditioner from OGX. I love a good drugstore conditioner. Yes, I'm all about it. Also, I'll be using this brush to really work my product through my hair while I'm in the shower. So I will see you guys after I wash my hair. All right, we're back. So I washed my hair twice with the Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight and then I conditioned once with that conditioner from OGX that I was showing you guys. So now I'm about to actually style my hair. Today I'm going to go back to my Old Faithful, which is a twist out. And so these are the products that I'll be using today. My leave-in, I'll be using the one from Miel, the pomegranate and honey one. Is it focusing? There we go. The pomegranate and honey one. I'll also be using this Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil from Miel. Um, just because, you know, my hair has been wrapped up in that protective style for a while. So I want to give it a little bit of extra care. And then I'll be using the Miel Pomegranate and Honey Twisting Souffle as my product for my twist out. So without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first part for me is sectioning my hair into four parts. I think that it's just easier when my hair is pre-sectioned as opposed to having to work from my entire head at once. All right, now that I have my hair sectioned, the first thing that I'm going to go in with is the oil that I was telling you guys about. Um, so for this oil, I pretty much just apply it to the large parts. It does do a really good job of saturating the hair, so I don't think that I need too, too much. But I just go in and kind of run it along where the part is and then rub it in a little bit. With this product, I do think a little goes a long way, and so I'm definitely mindful of that when I'm applying the product. Then after that, I'm going to go in with the leave-in conditioner and apply it to that entire section. And with this, I do a pretty liberal amount just to make sure my hair is very moisturized. And I really try to do a good job of working it through with my fingers, making sure, you know, I'm trying to get every single strand moisturized during this part. And then after that, it's time to actually start twisting. So I will be parting my hair into smaller sections combing it out and then applying the twisting souffle as I twist. We are back it is several hours later so after I started my hair I realized that I had a meeting in about an hour and a half <laughs> and so I started rushing and trying to do my hair a little bit quicker and so my twists are a little bit bigger than I typically make them but here we are my hair is very dry at this point so I am gonna have to go in with a spray bottle before I start but I just wanted to explain why it was so many hours later 
because I just hate when I'm watching other people's videos and I'm like, what happened? So I'm here to tell y'all what happened. But now we're back to it. wash day so I'm actually going to keep this style for a few days because I don't have anything really big coming up that I will need to take my hair out for and so I'm gonna rock this for a couple days therefore making this the end of my wash day I hope you guys enjoyed this video and watching me go from my protective style of knotless braids into my twist which will eventually become a twist out down the road if you have liked this video please make sure to like it comment anything down below and if you have not already please take the time to subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video bye